Hey guys, what is up? It is Stytle245 here, and I'm bringing you some more MX vs. ATV Alive. And this is on the map Piston Valley, and I'm doing it on all time difficulty on a Suzuki RMZ450. And this was the day that I bought the 450 Suzuki, and it was before I realized how bad the 450s were compared to the 250Fs. And so this is shortly after I fully modified it. And this was only like my third race ever on this track. And so I had a little bit of trouble. And as you see, it started right at the beginning. I got a terrible start. I'm second to last. So <clears throat> I had to work past, you know, make my way through. Which on a track you're not familiar with and not that much faster than the competition, it can be very difficult to make your way up front. I started out doing pretty good, as you'll see here. But things don't end up going the greatest. I'd kind of like, like to talk about so far, you know, with the game's release, what I think of how they did it. Um, the game's been out for quite a while now, and although it can be kind of frustrating in t at times, the way they're doing the DLCs, where the game itself didn't come with that much, but then they're making everything viable, it is kind of frustrating. You have to wait for the stuff in that, but I think it was very smart of them, you know, from a business point of view, because, you know, I love the game. It, the way the bikes handle and everything, and it, it is great. I mean, there are a few problems, like the 250Fs being much faster than the 450s. You know, that's kind of an issue that they're going to, I know they're working on. Hopefully they get it fixed soon, but, you know, I really enjoy this game. I mean, I've got all the trophies for it. I am like 90% through the race goals, which I'm trying to get 100% of that. That's the only thing I really have left to do. But, like, I, I'll take a break from it for a couple days, you know, play other games. And I keep going back. I mean, I just really enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun. And so I don't plan on giving it up anytime soon. And with them there being weights in between it makes it even better like I was playing you know when the Stewart compound when I got that I played that a ton for a while and then the other new tracks the quarry ones played those a bunch and then I started going back and playing the original tracks some and now Supercross is out and so I've been playing them and, you know I mean it's just I don't know I kind of liking the way they did it. I've put a bunch of money into the game by now. I mean, I'm close to the $60 into it now because I bought a ton of the bikes. I think I have all the KTMs and all the Suzukis and one or two Yamahas and I bought all of the tracks that are available so far. I'm not too worried about the gear or the like butt patches and goggles, stuff like that. That's not too, you know, interesting. Oh, you see right there? I think that was the mistake that really screwed me up for this race. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. That one really, I think that one really messed me up. Because I had the lead, was fighting right there with it, and then that mistake, and now I'm back with these guys, and it's like a four-second gap already. So, but as I was saying, you know, I... I hope they keep it up. You know, they got to keep steady and not... I don't like that they sometimes do DLCs with nothing good in them. I mean, now there's really not much to do for bikes, except they haven't done any Kawasaki's. So it'd be kind of nice to see some of them in there. And what about 252 strokes? I mean, it would be great to see like a Suzuki 252 stroke and Yamaha and KTM. You know, it, that would be nice. I hope they end up doing that. I mean, I'm not sure that they will, but it'd be kind of cool. And now I know they've already addressed the issue of the 250Fs being so much faster. And I know a ton of people are complaining about the, like, the way the rider moves. But if you look at this, I mean, it looks fairly decent. I mean, yeah, it's not exactly like a real person, but, I mean, come on, it's a video game. 
I think that I think it looks pretty good. This is the most realistic motocross game that I have ever played. You know, I think that's quite impressive what they've done with this. And the way the tracks deform and stuff. I don't know, I think it's pretty neat. So, I mean, there have been some tracks where in a four lap race, the best I can do at the last lap is like three or four seconds slower than the best I can do on the first lap. And that's a big difference. So, I mean, in real life, it's not that drastic, but you're not going to do like, you're not going to do as long of races in this game as you would in real life. It's just, it gets boring at that point. So, at least for me anyways. But I really like what they're doing. I kind of wish they would fix the leaderboards. That's another thing that I, you know, I know a lot of people are complaining about it. And I don't know why they haven't taken care of that. Because I was looking on there and I'm not, you know, I'm not that great. I think I have a couple tracks where I'm in the top 50 in time. Which I'm, you know, I thought that was crazy. I don't know how I managed that. But there are, like, the top 20 people you can see. It's like, they're like 30 seconds faster than everyone else and you know that's not a real time it's a glitch or something and so you know hopefully they get that fixed because it'd be nice to actually have the true rankings but you know it's, it's game's almost over this is the last lap here as you can see i was way behind it was like seven or eight seconds at one point and i'm back up under six seconds behind now trying to throw together a good lap but as you see so far my best lap is a 128.65 and that's not very good on this track I mean my best lap on this track is like a minute and 25 seconds which still isn't amazing but that's full three seconds faster that's a big difference and that's on a 250F actually the Suzuki 250F that seems to be for me anyways the best bike in the game I know a lot of people don't like it the best, but for me, nothing like none of the other 250Fs even come close. So I don't know why, but it seems faster. And I don't know. It's a good bike. If you guys haven't, if you guys are gonna buy one of the bikes, I have to say I would recommend that one. That's I have ridden all of the 250Fs, and that is by far my favorite. So. Here, the race is almost over as you see I really started catching up at the end of this lap you know got it to within two seconds to finish so it was a real close race I didn't quite win but you know it was a tough race it was a lot of fun and that's why I thought I'd bring it you know show you guys this so I hope you enjoyed that please rate comment and subscribe let me know what you think of the game at this point and what things you might want to get fixed you know I know there's a there's still quite a few problems with it, you know, not too serious, but it's good. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a good one.